okay so today in the logic development uh, session we are going to see one more scenario so <clears throat> those who are working somewhere in the some project you might have used jira right so jira is a ticketing tool and in that we have a board where we get to see like who is working on which ticket what is the status of the ticket right like the structure you can see over here okay so we have to do what are the tickets in the to do state who is working on that what is the ticket number right what time he is going to take to complete that ticket name assignee name so what these are the tickets we have in uh, to do these are the tickets in in progress and some of the ticket are in progress so once we start the work on start working on any ticket we move this to over here once we are done working on that ticket we move it to done again we can have completed or anything right so this is currently whatever the UI you are seeing, this is static. Okay. Now, <clears throat> in case of actual project, okay. So this kind of data we get it from the API. Like ticket list we will get, status list we will get, project list we will get. Again, one more thing, like based on the project selection, we have we should filter the ticket also. If I select project one in the board, I should see all the ticket for project one. And if I select two, all the ticket of the project two. Okay. So this is the static UI. Now, this thing, we have to make it dynamic, okay? In case of Angular or React also, same approach will be there. Just syntax will be different. Here we will be using ng4. In React, we will use map operator to iterate. Now, let me just show you the object. <clears throat> so first, I have a ticket uh, status array. I mean, what type of status I have in my tickets. So let's say it's an array of objects, status ID one, status id 2 3 4 and status name is to do in progress completed let's add one more i have created this uh i have stored this where data over here but in actual project you will get this data from the api right so let's make it five and let's make it instead of uh done and then completed so to do is unless developer has start developer has not started the work on that ticket so it by default it will be in the to do state then he will move to the in progress. Then once his work is done, then he will move it to the done state. And then QA will test the ticket. And once QA tests it and properly working, then they will move it to the completed state. Okay. Then project list also I have created. So in this is also again area of object. So project ID one and two and project name school ERM and sorry, second project name is big basket. So let's say we are just considering we have two projects. <coughs> One is school ERM and second is the big basket. Now I have the array of tickets. Okay. Now just pay attention. We have an array of ticket status, like what kind of ticket status can be and project list also. So in the tickets, tickets array, we have project ID. So here you can see one, two, one, two, one, two, I'm saying. Then status ID. So status ID, nothing but whatever the status ID I have. So let's say this login, login, login ticket. Is having the project ID one means this ticket is of the school ERM project and status ID two means this ticket is in currently to do state. Okay, so whatever the data you are seeing it over here, we need to make it dynamic. So first thing, the project. So first we need to uh, create the dynamic project. So in Angular we have ng4 to make it directive. In reactive you will be using at the rate map operator. Okay, so now here, so option star ng4 let project of our array variable name where we have the project that is project list so project list then over here we will show the project name project dot project name and we will bind value also with the property binding so value project dot project id we will bind right now this is a drop down so obviously once we change it we need the selected value so we need to create one variable and that variable we will bind it over there selected project yeah. colon string and this variable we will bind it over here by using ng model directive <coughs> ng model Okay, so let's just test this if it is working properly. Whatever the project we have in that array, that should be visible. 
is not loaded yet. Yeah, it's slowly reloading. So see, currently two projects were there. Let's create one more project. Project ID should be unique. So let's say three. Let's say banking ERP. Just a project name I'm giving. So now we will have three projects. Okay. Now second thing. If you see these cards. Okay. So first we have card inside that. Again we have card. But these are the major cards. So currently this is static. <clears throat> so over here you can see three divs are there. And on three divs we have the card. Now I need to make that card also dynamic. So whatever the status we have. That much card should be there. So currently if we see in my array. We have four status to do in progress done completed. So like that, I should get my card. So dynamic card. So I'm just removing whatever the static thing was there. Okay. Now I will repeat this column. So on this column, I will add my for loop. So at the red, sorry, star ng for let status of in that variable we have that is ticket status array here we have the status list and this status we will print it over here dot status okay because it's an array of objects so we need to show the status so let's just see see currently we have got four card but again inside this card this data is static <clears throat> now so we have an array where we have all that project and all the ticket things right uh, we don't have any array specific like for to do we have this array for uh, in progress we have this array we have a single array and in that array only we have all the tickets but in that array we have status id and project id also now consider like from api call you are going to get the data and that you are going to store into a variable ticket array okay now we have we have a project drop down so here you can see currently we have three project project ID one, two, three, and we have state gates for one, two, three. Let's just create one, three. Okay. So this ticket will be for ticket project number three. Okay. Remainings are for project one and two. Now, once I change the project, I need to showcase the tickets in this board, right? But first I need to filter the record. So first what I will do, I will create one more variable that will be filtered tickets okay any square bracket equal to empty so by default this array will be empty now on project change so once i user select the project i need to get the i need to filter the particular pro, particular tickets from that selected project so i will write change event over here on project change round bracket let's create this function okay so we have binded this where drop down with this variable so whatever the project will we select that will get stored over here so we can now filter it out so this dot filter ticket is equal to from where we are going to filter from this array okay so this dot ticket list sorry tickets array dot now we are going to filter we are going to get multiple record whatever the matching project id so we have to use filter we use find when we know like only one record we are going to get so there in that scenario we have to go for find but if you know that you are going to get multiple records so we have to go for the filter now we need to write lambda expression x dot with what we are going to compare with project id equal to equal to this dot selected project okay what is this compare the number and string so here we have said project id as number and here we have declared it as string so that's why the error is coming. So let's initialize with zero. Okay. So let me just add a debugger and let me show you if we are able to filter it or not. Okay. Now on project change, that function will get called. Let's say I select big basket. So see, in selected project, we have got that two ID. And now in filter ticket, only five records we have got. Because in ticket array, we have just five tickets which are matching to this project ID two. Let's continue. Let's change the project banking ERP. So we just have one ticket in project ID three. See over here. 
So only one project is there, which is having project ID three. So we have filtered the record. Now, whatever the project we create, that selected uh, that uh, means tickets of that project we have got in this variable. Now, next task is in the particular card, we have to show the tickets respect to particular status also. Like in to do card, we need to show the tickets which having status to do. Okay. So now we need to create a function. So let's say get tickets by status ID. Okay. And with project also, project ID, we don't need to showcase because we are already filtering it over here. Round bracket, curly bracket. Now this function will have a parameter that will be status ID number. Okay. Now from where we are going to filter from this array. So, and whatever the record I'm going to get that I'm going to return because this function we are going to directly fall on the HTML. So this dot filter ticket dot again filter. Okay. Now what with what we need to compare M dot we'll be comparing with status ID. So in an array, we have the status ID. So with this, we will filter equal to equal to status ID. Okay. So what is the purpose of this function? This function is if we pass the status ID something. Okay. So it will get us the ticket which are matching to this particular status. Now this function we will use on ngfr in the html so here this is the div which is getting iterated see these are the multiple divs okay so let's remove this static thing now on this div this is going this isn't just the ticket div okay so here we will use ng4 equal to let ticket off now normally we pass the array but in this case now we need to filter it so we have created this function and this is a function so round bracket and we need to pass the status id so we have status id over here see outer for loop so status dot status id we need to pass because this function needs status id so we are passing it so whatever this function if we pass the status id we will get some tickets from status id so that we are iterating over here Let's just make the dynamic so instead of vendor verification we will show ticket name so ticket dot what is that ticket name we will show it over there here we will show the ticket number so ticket dot so it's a for loop inside a for loop okay ticket number we will show it over here and at the last we will show to which he, this ticket is assigned so that is assigned to okay so this variable I'm using uh, five hours. So time span I didn't create, but let it be static only. Let's save and check it now. So currently see in the board, we don't have anything because project is not selected. Now, if we select the school ERM, so see in school ERM in to do state, we have four tickets. So that are visible in the to do in progress. We have two and in done state, we just have two. Let's select big basket. So see in big basket, we just have one ticket in to do state. Let's select banking ERP. So in banking ERP, only one ticket was there, right? So that only we filtered. So this was the ticket. Let's make it status ID by you. That will be completed. So see now the last project, we will have this ticket move to the over here. See completed. Okay. So this is how that board thing works. Whatever the project we select, we get that tickets and we filter it out. And in that particular card, we need to show the tickets based on the status. Again, drag and, drag and drop will be there, but I am not going to cover that here. But I wanted to explain this kind of scenario. Okay. So we have first for loop was to iterate these cards. Then second for loop inside card, we have to get the filtered ticket. So that's why inside for loop again, we have used the another for loop to filter out the ticket. So this is one for loop, right? And then another for loop. Got it? Anyone, any question?
it's a small one but it's uh, these kind of scenarios are getting asked in the interview just to sh check your programming skill or logical thing like are you able to think it there are multiple ways to achieve this like on drop down change you can create multiple arrays and you can filter it take it and then you can use it over here but this is the optimal and dynamic solution status is also dynamic and tickets are also dynamic okay yeah yeah we create two functions for filtering can you yeah. do it uh, in a one function like on the project chain you can filter it both three yeah on the projections also we can yeah. do this thing now let's say if we need a one function on the project change we will just filter it out no but how you will this function you need to anyway this function is going to be needed because this function you are going to call over here to filter out the data inside the status right so this okay. function you anyway need it okay correct and on the project chain you need to filter it so anyhow this function is also needed how you are going to filter if you don't create this function by using closer uh, closer like in a on project we can create another function like get ticket it might be complicated right yeah this is the simplest one now on project chain you are filtering it and store it in, storing it into another variable okay. yeah okay yeah. Anyone else? Clear to everyone? Yes. Okay. Fine then. So this was the scenario. If you know kind of the scenarios, you can send me so that in our next session we can at least combine some whatever I know or some subscriber are sending me those i'm taking if you know some of this kind of scenario where you think like i could have been helpful or what logic i should have explained right so that kind of scenario you can send we will see that in the live sessions okay so that's it in next video again we will come up with some scenario and again we will connect yeah yeah thank you all yeah thank you